What's up guys, it's Grace and this is my most requested live Ask Anything chat. Thank you so much for having me, Romeo. All right, let's get into these questions. All right, so first up we have Cappy from Spanaway. What is your favorite soda? Hmm. My favorite soda would definitely have to be either root beer or, of course, Coke. You can't go wrong with Coke. <laughs> All right, Michelle from Marshfield said, if you could collaborate with anyone, who would it be? Um, I mean, you guys have heard me say this a hundred billion times, but I'm such a massive Lauren Hill fan. So being able to collaborate with her would be insane. Um, but aside from that, I mean, Kendrick Lamar would be sick. Childish Gambino, Kanye West would be awesome. Um, yeah, a bunch of people. <laughs> All right, next we have... Lynn from Melbourne, you're always jotting down thoughts and ideas for songs, but when you collaborate for a song, are you mainly the lyricist or do you already have a melody in mind? Um, it kind of just depends on like what mood everybody is in and, and the vibe in the room. Um, usually if, if I go into the studio and have a specific idea of what I want to talk about or I have something I want to get off my chest or on my mind, then I'll just go into the booth and kind of freestyle some ideas and I'll build off that with whoever I'm co-writing with. And if it's not that way, then I'll refer to, like you said, little notes and ideas I have in my phone. And But it really just depends on, you know, who you're working with, what you're feeling that day, and, yeah, what, what you want to talk about, really. It, it's all dependent on that. All right. Next is Kenya from Santa Clarita. How old were you when you realized that you wanted to sing and do that as a career? And having had a musical family, how much had that helped you later on? Um, it sounds silly and super unrealistic, but I probably started to like figure out I could kind of sing. I don't know how good I was because I was super young, but around the age of like six or seven, seven, eight, that kind of that kind of age. Um, I fell in, in love with music because my parents were, especially my mom, just had great taste and was constantly playing like the great soul singers and that's the first sort of songs that I tried to learn and emulate and my grandparents were singers and my brother's in the industry so it felt it felt right to go into something creative and, and when I figured out I could kind of sing, I just ran with it and I'm so lucky that I had parents that supported me 100% and always kind of said to me and, and my older brothers that, I mean, it sounds cheesy, but if you have dreams, you have to follow them. And if you're passionate about something, that anything is possible. So, yeah, definitely my family is a, is a massive is a massive part of why I got into music in the first place and, and why I've stuck at it and, you know, why I love it so much as well. All right, next question is Chris from Belleville. What's your favorite thing about singing? Hmm. My favorite thing about singing would have to be performing. Um, there's like no, no feeling that I can really explain similar to, to what it's like to get up on a stage and, and take what you make in the studio and, and perform it in a live audience and see people's feedback and reactions and, you know, whether they like it or not. It's, it's just, it's a very, it's a, it's a buzz, you know, to, to get up there and kind of bear it all and be vulnerable and just, just be in the, in that moment. So definitely performing for sure is my favorite part of singing. Um, okay, Alondra from San Francisco, what's your favorite type of pizza? P.S. I love you. <laughs> right, for starters, love you too. And my favorite type of pizza would have to be probably pepperoni with some little chili flakes on top, um, but also just like a good old margarita goes down pretty well. So nothing, nothing crazy, pretty simple. <laughs> for the pizza faves. Um, all right, what's next? Uh, Georgia from Manchester. What song are you obsessed with at the moment? Mine is Feel Your Love from your EP. Aw. Well, thank you for buying the EP. Feel Your Love is, is one of my favorites off there, so I'm glad you like it. <laughs> my favorite song at the moment is... Okay, so a couple weeks ago, I was in LA and I got to see Andre Day perform and I was absolutely blown away. She is so talented and her whole her whole stage set up and the way she kind of made her show into into like a story it was just insane so right after I left the show I went and bought her album and there's a song in it called gold which I literally have been playing on repeat at the moment I love it so if you haven't checked out Andre Day go check her out you will definitely not be disappointed she is incredible 
Um, all right, who is next? Okay, Nicole from Santa Monica. When you're in the studio with Quincy, how unbelievable are his stories about the music business? Um, they are pretty insane. <laughs> he has obviously been doing this for a minute and has accomplished and been around a lot. So he, um, he has some pretty crazy stories, especially about, you know, when we first kind of started to get into remaking this song, talking about Leslie and telling me how crazy it was for a 17 year old girl to come out in the middle of the feminist movement with a song like that. And, you know, some, some very funny stories about other artists around the same time as her. And he, but above everything, he's just like a, such a pleasure to be around. It's just such an honor to kind of sit there and soak up wisdom from him because he's literally, he's arguably the best producer there is, you know, to date. So it's, it's pretty insane to be able to learn from him and have him be part of my journey. And I'm, I'm so blessed and lucky. And yeah, I couldn't ask for a better mentor in this game because he's literally, he, everything that comes out of his mouth is like a little pearl of wisdom. So <laughs> yeah, definitely. He's, he's amazing to be around for sure. Um, okay. What is next? We have Joni from Austin. If we went to your junk food cupboard at your house, what would we find? Um, I don't have like a specific cupboard for junk food, um, but kudos if you do. <laughs> um, I just have junk food in my regular cupboard. Um, <laughs> there's usually you'll find some Oreos or any type of cookie. I'm a sucker for a cookie. Um, and just the regular stuff, you know, chips, chocolate, Oreos, just all that good stuff. But definitely, definitely cookies. Got a weakness for that. <laughs> um, okay. Deb from Sydney. Who has better hair, you or Conrad? Well, obviously, I'm kind of obliged to say me, um, even though Conrad does have better hair days than me sometimes, and it, it's not on. But <laughs> I think at, nine times out of ten, I would say I probably have the best hair, right? I hope you guys agree. <laughs> um, oh, my gosh, that's it. That's it. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching again. My name is Grace and thank you so much, Romeo, for having me. This is my worldwide Ask Anything chat. Much love. Thank you guys.